Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to year six of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you get your podcasts, and write us a review. Show notes and a text episode can be found at 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Today's selection concludes Surah 47, Muhammad, verses 20 through 38. These verses assert that promises of obedience from the believers, which are not followed by action, will be cursed by God. God tests the believers in order to reveal those who are valiant and resolute. In case of war, God is on the side of the believers. And lastly, the believers are commanded not to be stingy in giving to the cause of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. The believers were asking, Why is not a surah revealed to us to fight? But when a decisive surah carrying the order of allowing them to fight is revealed, you saw those in whose hearts was a disease, looking at you like the one under the shadow of death. Woe to them! On their tongues is the promise of obedience and good talk. So if they would have proved their promise with Allah when the final command was given, it would have been better for them. Now what can be expected of you if you are put in authority? other than to do evil in the land and violate the ties of blood. Such are those whom Allah has cursed and made them deaf and blinded their sight. Will they not ponder upon the Quran? Are there locks upon their hearts? Those who turned back to unbelief after the guidance has become clear are seduced by Satan, who gives them false hopes. That is why they said to those who showed an aversion to what Allah has revealed, we shall obey you in some matters, and Allah knows their secret talks. Then, what will they do when the angels carry off their souls, smiting their faces and their backs? That will happen because they followed the way that called for the wrath of Allah, and hated to adopt the way of His pleasure. Therefore, He made all their deeds void. Do those in whose hearts is a disease think that Allah will not reveal their malice? Had we so pleased, we could have pointed them out to you, and you would have recognized them promptly by their faces. But you will surely know them by the tone of their speech. Allah knows all of your actions. We shall put you to test until we know the valiant and the resolute among you, and test all that is said about you. The unbelievers who obstruct others from the way of Allah and disputed the messenger after the guidance has become clear to them shall in no way harm Allah. As a result, he will bring their deeds to nothing. O believers, obey Allah and obey his messenger, and do not let your deeds come to nothing. Those who disbelieve and obstruct the way of Allah and die while they are still disbelievers, Allah will never forgive them. Therefore, do not be faint-hearted, crying for peace, for you will surely gain the upper hand. Allah is on your side and will never let your deeds be wasted. The life of this world is but a play and amusement. If you believe and follow the way of piety, He will grant you your rewards and will not ask you to give up your possessions. If He were to demand all your possessions and press you for it, you would grow stingy and He would bring out all your malice. Behold, you are those who are being asked to give in the cause of Allah. Yet some of you are stingy, whereas whoever is stingy to his cause is in fact stingy to himself. Allah is self-sufficient. It is you who are needy. If you turn away, he will replace you by some other folk who will not be like you. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. 
The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.